support screens, um, basically everyone talking to each other, and I'll go through these pretty quickly. Um, just observe. Likelihood of getting bonus, uh, I guess you could say, attacks or effects when they are near each other in battle. Um, so you just always want to make sure they have these conversations, even if you zip through them. Sometimes you get some good information out of them, sometimes you don't. Alright, so now we have a refugee. And Jill's talking to Ike. Mm, you treated the people of Talrega with kindness. I don't know how to thank you. I, you know, I wish he could have done more, basically. My lady, is that you? Lady Fazart? Huh? Oh, it is you, Lord Shaharam's lovely daughter. Thank heavens you're still alive. And this lady is from Talrega and recognizes Jill. So she came to the capital. I was sure you'd been claimed by the Dark Angel. <laughs> but here you are. <laughs> Is this your bodyguard? You keep an eye on her and don't let those nasty Crimeans get near her. If only she knew she's talking to the general of the army. She's not very observant. Um... Crimeans did it. Yes, the Crimeans flooded your land. That's exactly what they did. So I'm talking about Jill's dad and how he and his men used to help them out. Sister, I'm hungry. You're going to be alright. I'll find you something to eat. Starved to death the before we take charity from Crimean soldiers. The kid's crying. Run! And they're just kind of shocked, and Jill says she's sorry. And now we've missed. Do you think we can be Ashnar? No, Ike's like, of course we can. What are we going to do? I'm frightened. My medallion was my protection. Now that it's gone, my confidence has vanished. For as long as I can remember, I talked to the medallion like I was talking to Mother. After Father died, I felt like I was talking to them both. Where could it have gone? We'll find it, even if it's gone. Mother and Father are looking down on us and protecting us. You're right. I'm sorry. Father and Mother are in my heart, and I've got you and everyone else at my side. So even without the medallion, I'm alright. Everything's going to turn out fine. I know it. That's the spirit. Ike, Mist, if you're going to chat, why not go inside? Even if the snows are beginning to melt, it's still cold out here. Oh, hi, Nasir. And he's like, forgive me. And she's like, what's wrong? And of course he can't say, hey, I stole your medallion and gave it to the other people. Um... So we've done support info, and then we come back to outfit, and we look at what our people have. Ike's got a lot of swords, he's got healing stuff. This is good. He's good. Sheena's good. people looked at. Yeah, I think everybody is as good as I'm going to get them for right now. Go ahead and leave base camp again.
This battle is difficult, but I do like it. Oh, hey, welcome back. Glad you popped in. Uh, chores are always fun. Uh, so, yay. <laughs> Um, but thank you for popping in, and yeah, I'll be having fun with this battle and with Ina. Because I know you've played this game before, so you know what's going on. Yeah. I will be right here playing. And now we find out that Ina is a Lagoos. And she's a dragon. Lagoos. And of course he's freaking out because they hate the Lagoos. A legendary dragon of Goldoa is on our side. It's a powerful omen. We're indestructible. We will crush the dogs right now and use their skulls as goblins. I think they're ready for the battle. So he's like, we're all packed in here together. Titania has it right. They must have something which they believe gives them an insurmountable advantage. 